This video includes an overview of how to connect ADP's A2L refrigerant detection system to an existing HVAC system. Once the evaporator coil with the RDS sensor is mounted onto the furnace or air handler, the mitigation control board can be installed. Although the sensor wire is 80 inches long, select a location for the mitigation board within 48 inches from the split grommet on the plenum. Mounting the RDS board farther than 48 inches from the refrigerant sensor may prevent reliable operation due to cable strain and water seepage on cable connections. This location can be a stud in an unfinished basement, on drywall for a finished basement, or on the return air duct work. Ensure there is no strain on the sensor cable when locating the mitigation board and maintain a drip loop inside the coil to ensure all condensate is drawn into the drain pan and away from the sensor. It's suggested to wire the mitigation board prior to mounting it in its final location to prevent wire strain. To make this system operate as intended, the thermostat, furnace, and outdoor unit will need to be wired to the mitigation board. To access the wiring for the mitigation board, remove the front cover by releasing the four locking tabs in each of the corners. The thermostat and condenser for the AC or heat pump will need to be directly connected to the left-hand side of the control board on the black terminals, with the connections to the furnace or air handler on the right-hand side on the blue terminals. Locate the sensor wire and connect it to the sensor one location on the control board, ensuring the latch is locked and the connection is secure. Once all appliances are wired to the mitigation board, connect the blue terminals to the furnace or air handler and install the mitigation board in an appropriate area. Each dip switch corresponds to a sensor position. The default factory switch positions are set to off. The RDS control software reads the off position as active. For use with a single sensor, sensor position one will need to be set in the off position and sensor two will need to be set in the on position. Configurations with more than one sensor will require both dip switches to be in the off position. The mitigation board hosts the LED, which will provide a status on the system's operation. When the LED is flashing green, the RDS is initializing and no action is required. When the LED is a solid green, it indicates that the RDS is monitoring and no action is required. A test button is made available on the mitigation board to perform various functions on the system. Under normal operation, pressing the test button will trigger a leak detection response to verify all equipment is wired and operating correctly. Once the system is tested under heating and cooling and correct operation is confirmed, the test button can be pushed again to return the system back to normal operation. With the system tested and operating, the installation of the RDS kit is now complete. Find this video helpful? Subscribe to the Wolfsteel technical page for more installation and troubleshooting videos.